Hello, hello my friends and welcome to Insodato Electronic Channel and sorry for the mess on the bench. Usually it is always messy like this, just and you just don't see it because I focus on a smaller part of the desk. But today this thing is pretty big and it doesn't fit so I had to kind of zoom out as much as possible and what the heck I got here. So this is, maybe this side will be better to see. This is, do you see that? This is Sony SCD-CE775. This is SACD-CD carousel, 5 disc carousel player. I got it for super cheap for the price of coffee and the croissant. So, I could not pass on a device which actually can natively play SACDs without like any being Blu-ray player or anything like that. This is actually relatively decent SACD player. Yes, it's carousel which is not so fashionable, but apparently it has the really nice disk drive. So before we actually turn it on, we will take it apart. Because I want to make sure this thing won't gonna blow up after sitting years in someone's basement or something like that. Yes, it's a little bit scratched here and there, you know, cosmetically it's relatively okay. Sorry, I cannot really show you, but it's actually okay. It's a bit scratched, but it's okay. Um, then I have remote. Unfortunately, I don't have a remote. Yeah, well, we'll have to live with that or figure out something or eventually buy one or find one. Yeah, I'll figure out something. So. We're gonna open it up and then uh, after we make sure everything is nice and clean we'll take a look what's inside you know just out of curiosity and we're gonna power it up and poke around so let's open it up to open up obviously we have to unscrew typically two screws two screws on this side and four more on the back yeah let me do it real quick Ta-da! we have it open and it looks nice. Um, why I say nice? Because it doesn't, it actually looks spaced out in such a way that electronic components right here, device disk drive right here, and what the heck is this? I assume I'm, I'm disconnected. It is power supply, right? It, and it's not switch mode, it has a transformer. And over here on the front, we have real clunking button. Yepies, with some protection capacitors. Very nice. Safety capacitors, I meant to say, not protection. Alright. Looks like device consists of one, another board, two, three power supply, probably control board over here, four, and a disk drive, five. That's pretty much all I can see a little bit more parse power supply goodness goodness right underneath there you can't you see that yeah oh maybe oh wow actually a little bit it's a lot it's a lot of power supply goodness here mm-hmm okay it's nice to see uh, you know what? I'm actually a little bit disappointed. I thought they're gonna see way more than that. But now, in in order to um, in order to see something, I have to actually do more tear down. I'm not really sure if one wanna wanna do that. And by the way, disc is oriented like this. I think, like like that. That's it. What looks like to me, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I have a service manual of this little guy. It seems like, yeah, in order to see the condition of capacitors, unfortunately, I have to lift this whole jaws. Oh, I'm so reluctant to do so just because remember when I was tearing down my the previous CD just for giggles, uh, the Harmon Carden CD uh, uh, CD player, which is, was which was a 5 CD as well. Oh, it was such a pain in the ass. Yeah. But I see some lots of cool goodness right here. That's, uh, is it like a digital filtering board or something like this one? Yeah, it doesn't really say. But I see 
um, the this um, audio cables coming through and I, th I do believe they are coming from here to here because that is clearly a digital board which is inter oh I see DSD chip alright so I have to do some tear down here you have to see that pretty close no freaking way I cannot show this to you that DSD chip is too nice no, not to hide. Nice. I'm not gonna mess up anything here. <laughs> Let me um, pause it here and I'm gonna unscrew some more screws on this side. Alright guys, I had to zoom in because you wanna see all this... Oh, let's talk about first. Let's talk about the top part. So over here looks like we have... What, what are those? Those are look like op amps. GRC, yeah, Japan Radio Company, those three, they are op-amps. These three, I'm not sure, so I have to learn what are they, uh, they, and when I learn, I put some text right here, for example, saying what are these guys, and this exam, it's really hard to learn, to read, because looks like this board is conformally coated, it's, it's shiny, yeah, it's very, very shiny, so it's very good, actually, and it's may, made in Malaysia, and the power supply is made in Malaysia as well. Even transformer made in Malaysia. So let's poke underneath. Look at that capacitor goodness here. Holy smokes! I'm curious why there is a, such a mix and match of different caps right here. Whoa, those golden ones and clear, clearly Nichicons, are they? Are they? Uh, they are Nichicons. Yes, they are. Are Nichicons, so Nichicons capacitors, those golden ones, probably some kind of audio series. What are those black ones here? J Jami Jamicon? Yeah? What the heck is Jamicon? If you know anything about Jamicon, like this, 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 and this guy is a Jamicon. Uh, is this black Jamicon too? This or that? Oh, this is Nichicon too. Oh, that's that's good. So some the the the, the these and this one without any markings on top, they are Nichicons. But the, the, this is Jamicon as well. This is Jamicon, Jamicon, Jamicon. Okay, what are these? Those are two Elna here. Those two are Elna capacitors, and they I'm not sure what they are going for. There's a little little power voltage regulator right in here. Interesting. Not sure what it's for, but there is a voltage regulator. Again, I have a schematic, I, can, I will look it up. Uh, real oscillator, re, uh, I don't know, 12 megahertz? Yeah, I don't know why. So that means that there is a, a microcontroller right in here somewhere. We have a whole bunch of capacitors, which are really hard to understand what kind of brands they are. No, yeah, really, yeah, I can't read that. It's tiny. Eero? Eero? Something like that? That's, it looks like it says Eero on it, whatever that means, not familiar. And this little guy is another Nichicon. Yeah, so there's something unpopulated right here, there is some kind of footprint is unpopulated. I was really hoping um, to have a opt uh, the, the um, um, SPDF out. I was really hoping to have digital, um, oh, sorry, digital coaxial output here. Maybe this is it. Maybe some of the models have coaxial, but some stuff is unpopulated. So technically, if I really, really, really want it, I can just walk something in here to have, um, you know, the, the coaxial output. I have to investigate that that thing. Maybe different models for different markets has something populated there. It would be really nice to have because optical is good, but sometimes um, coaxial is. Uh, a little bit more useful. This little connector here coming into this and it goes to the headphones amplifier or headphones board right in the front. So yeah, interesting. Look, this is cool. I actually saw somewhere on the internet some pictures without much of explanation that some people done mods to this board because technically you can do some bypassing for those um, uh, op amps and things like that just to improve some little frequency responses and noises and, the, and yada yada not a big expert in this jazz 
we need to read up on it. So here is digital goodness and we have a whole bunch of chippies which are branded Sony and this one is the most interesting because it says not just Sony it says it has it has um, SACD logo and DSD so probably it is not probably it highly likely is a decoder for DSD. I'm gonna take uh, close pictures of these ones as well. I think that's gonna be it for now. Not gonna be pulling too too much out uh, because I'm sort of afraid to break something and in this particular case if it's not broken better not poke around too much in there so uh, I won't really poke much around here uh, yeah oh did I mention these bus bars yeah look at these two or three I do suspect this is something like ground and you know minus 15 or plus 15 so it's uh, um, it's definitely uh, power related. I'm not sure why would you need this beefy uh, car current carrying like uh, like jumpers, but hey, I mean at least very nice to probe voltages. Um, did I mention already that this board is conformally coated? I don't know why, but it is. But because this one is not. A little jumper right here. Interesting. Disable. It says disable. It's interesting. Disable what? <laughs> we can disable something. Disable, enable. Maybe it's disabled. We can enable something. I don't know. Yeah, very cool. And what is this? Load plus ground in load. This can kind of load in, in jumper unpopulated. It's interesting. There is another one right here. Who knows? Maybe it's uh, a um, software debugging one or debugging one, yeah, or serial. Doesn't really say much. There is no any text associated with it. So again, I have to can take a look in the schematic and understand what the heck is going on here. But potentially, it, because it may have some software software running in it. So let me assemble it. That uh, it's all back together, and we can try to power it up. And here is listen to some music. Oh, and here's some bonus mechanical action for you. Wow. So it's, it's enumerating disks. As you see, it's working. So I wanted this, to do this before I put the lid on because I want to see all this like spinny spinny stuff. As you see, it has five disks and uh, the player itself, CD player itself is located in this like area just like so. And here there is a clunking like actuator, like here, like a metal uh, spindle or rod, which actually um, locates this um, carousel in specific positions. It's not gonna sw swing around when the disc is actually being read. Anyways, let's continue. Okay, so let's take a look at this um, say CD, CD changer a little bit up close. So here's the front panel of uh, Sony SACD. Sorry, Sony SCD CE775. Um, as you see, front panel is relatively populated with controls. So first of all, obviously, here is the big panel, which actually is a multi-CD or multi-SACD loading tray. So it contains five of them. There's a power button here. Over here, you can access five disks individually using these buttons. Then there is a different modes, continuous shuffle and program of some sort. There is a repeat and all time left. It's actually changed the indication how much time is left. On this side, we have a playback controls. Uh, skip forward and backward, stop, pause and play. There is a different switches. There is also dial right over here. Um, obviously, this is pretty obvious. Uh, use of those. There is a menu button which actually shows on screen menu here and there is a button which actually allows you to switch from SACD to CD mode and also switch multi-channel to two channel between two channels and five channels. It's pretty simple. So this essentially changes the tracks if you scroll them. This big button opens the tray and there is also which is actually good there is headphones output and headphone volume regulation. So the front panel is relatively simplistic and uh, pretty standard I think for the um, any CD player. So if you power this guy up so we're gonna do this knocking noises, um, scanning the whole thing, 
disk 2, disk 3, disk 4, and uh, actually it realizes there is no disk and shows the appropriate message. When you press this button, it's gonna open the tray, and tray is actually pretty dirty. You can load, well, technically you can load probably three disks at this moment, but when you press these buttons, uh, I didn't think this would happen. <laughs> I thought it's gonna just spin the disk keys uh, there, allow you to load five disks, but for some reason it closed it up. So, and when SACD mode is enabled, this blue light again uh, here gonna sh uh, gonna light up. When you disable, I think SACD, yeah, well, technically this is supposed to not light up when SACD is not um, enabled. So let's take a look in the back and then we will try to play something. So here is our back panel. Uh, over here we have two channel audio, five channel audio and subwoofer. We have digital output, but I think it has, uh, says only digital and CD. So this guy does not output a SACD uh, signal. It can, but I think they disabled it. And there is some kind of um, synchronization thingies which are uh, I'm not sure how they 100% work, but technically it's when you want to duplicate this data on a cassette player and uh, something like that. So there is some kind of control interface. Over here we have three interesting openings, which I don't know what they are, and the power, uh, power core. This particular unit made in Malaysia and serial number is pretty huge, so I'm not sure how many of those units were manufactured at all, but serial number is pre pretty big. Uh, so we obviously judging by the by the our tear down video the quality of manufacturing is was okay if you compare this to my um, uh, Harman Kardon CD player review which was horrible inside so guys let's try to power it up and try to play, play some discs so actually before we uh, conclude let's try to play some music Let's power it up. I have this very nice Super Audio CD uh, Jazz Demo Disc or just a sampler volume, how they call it. This is sampler volume number two. It has uh, several really nice tracks. So the only, the, the, also another really great thing about this particular one, this is a hybrid CD or the hybrid disc. It has Super Audio CD layer and it has regular audio CD player. So let's load it up and try to play some little samples of music and make sure not gonna hit any content protection thing. Just load it here in tray number one, close it up. You're gonna just leave it like this. All right, and it's gonna start for some reason with track number 12, right, 12? And it is Super Audio CD and multi-channel. Let's play. Okay, place, very nice. Let's pause. And now let's try to stop it in, in order to switch it from a Super Audio CD to Audio CD. You have to press this button. It's gonna reread the table of content. And it has 12 tracks and let's try to play it. And it plays regular Audio CD. I do have a recorded CDR. So this is Fujifilm containing Patrick Patricio's uh, audio track. These are from YouTube audio, so I won't be able, uh, I won't have any issues with the content protection. Looks like it takes a little bit more time to actually Kick the uh, re read the table of content.
as you see there is no issue reading CDR so this is really good so you can play your own CDs here if you for example create some kind of mix CDs so but that's not all so I have also this and this is this is SA Audio CD CD SA Audio CD DVD rip so this is DVD ROM with recorded SA Audio CD let's let's see what's gonna happen now this is actually the most interesting thing to me I have quite low expectations here because uh, no 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 it's not gonna read it because it starts spinning right now and stopping and spinning and stopping so yeah I'm afraid that's not gonna cut it well I have a device which actually reads this sort of disc so I'm fine so this is blu-ray blu -ray player one of the, my blu-ray players actually reads CD um, SACD strips on DVD but not in this case I'm afraid And look, looks like there's an issue not with the actual unable to uh, understand what's on, on disk or some kind of protection. It physically cannot read DVDs. It seems to be. Maybe different kind of DVD, different manufacturer. Because this one, I think, verbatim would, uh, would be fine. But with this particular one, it cannot handle it, unfortunately. Yeah. Disk error. Now it's scanning for disks. That's it. All right, so we failed to uh, read. Oh, wow, now it's gonna just doing in a, in a circle. So we failed to read SACG RIP on DVD. Well, uh, not that of a big deal. So I do have a device which actually reads them properly without any issues. I was a, I was a long shot. I had hopes that it's gonna work. All right, so let's just stop this or actually eject this. It's gonna go, make sure it's not gonna go all crazy on me. So we know for sure that this guy does not read SACD DVD rips. Okay guys, I think I'm pretty happy with performance of this device. Looks like it's working. We got vintage, sort of 20 years old vintage device, which is still in really good shape. So yeah, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy it was good purchase. Now I can listen to my collection, small collection of SACDs. So guys, I hope that video was useful. Uh, let's resurrect some vintage uh, music and stay tuned. See you next time.